Hello, my name is Sven Meister and I want to show you how to use the MATLAB tool line cut. First of all, be sure that the whole folder is in your MATLAB search path. Here's the program. On the left side you have all the settings uh, when you want to analyze the grain size of an image. So select image, then select the image file you want to analyze. Uh, it will be open here. Then you have to choose all these settings. First of all, uh, you have to scale the metering bar, so you read out 20 micrometers. If you can't read it on this uh, size, you can zoom in or zoom out with this tool. We all know it. And then you have to choose how many lines will be put over the image when we start. Microstructure means this is in one phase microstructure with only one grain kind kind of grains. So uh, that means when you click on a grain boundary, it is the left border of this grain and also the right border of this grain. If you have a two phase microstructure, that means that you have to click on the left and the right border of each grain. So you can click here and here to mark this grain and then for the next grain you have to click here and here again. So this is one phase. L to D is a correction value for the cause lengths. If you want to analyze twins you have to choose one or as here round grains it is uh, 0 0.79. You can choose where the analyze starts. So uh, when the lines are on top of the image, uh, you can choose whether the first click uh, to the next click is the first grain or if you click the first time the program will analyze this part from the left border of the image to the first click as one grain two. So first click means that the space between border and first click isn't analyzed and left border means that this area is analyzed as in grain. So I don't want this. You can uh, select it for the right border too. So uh, before we can start you have to choose a results directory where the course length file will be saved. You can let it create automatically. That means that the program will create a new folder within the path of your picture there will be created a, a creative folder called results and in this folder a folder with the current date when you press start. You also can do this manually by clicking on the plus button or you can choose a folder by browsing your computer. I want to create it ma uh, automatically. So um, I will zoom in to the metering bar so I can see it better. Then I have to press start and you see on the right hand side is uh, are some hints. So it's uh, selected what you have to do. So I have to first click on the ends of the metering bar. So something like that. Then you will see a blue bar on the metering bar and you can select whether it was okay or not. You have to mention that the length of the metering bar is calculated uh, between two dots. So if you click here, the metering bar will be set as this length. So this wouldn't be nice, so I can click no and do it again. If you don't want to be asked uh, whether the line is okay, you can deactivate this option with this check bar, verify scale bar. So this is okay. So in the next step I can crop the image. So I only want to analyze the area without the metering bar. So I drag the rectangle and can move it by holding the left mouse key and select the size. If it's okay I have to double click inside and then the analyze can start. So you see five red lines on top of the picture and then you only have to click on the grain boundaries 
after the line you have to hit return then you will see blue dots where you have clicked you can control whether it's okay and hit yes for the next line or just hit the return key on your keyboard you see this crosshair uh, it is not important that I correctly hit uh, with the crosshair the line only the X coordinate is counted for the analyze so I can click here or above the line and it will be okay too so you just have need to check whether the X coordinate of this crosshair hits the grain boundary so you see everything's alright if you want to redo this line you can click no and restart the line only the line okay um, if you want to cancel this analyze you can hit the escape key and have to um, re confirm it with return I will do it to the end If you do not want to be asked whether this line is ok, you can deactivate this option too by unchecking verify grain boundaries. You can also uncheck crop image if you don't like to select an area before the analyze starts. So this is all ok. Then the program calculates the histogram for my analyze and will save the course length file with all the course lengths between two clicks in nanometers and this file is in text file in the results folder you see here okay with the histogram you can do everything you want you can change the limits of the axis uh, you can show or hide the fit curve and the parameters you can hide the hints to enlarge um, another thing this uh, this GUI is completely resizable so you can uh, maximize this to see everything so in the histogram you can also select uh, how it should be divided so here uh, I set the length of the sections to 3 micrometers so every bar is 3 micrometers wide I also can tell the program that I want to have maybe 10 or 20 bars um, if you're ready with the histogram maybe should change this again uh, you can show it then a new figure opens with the histogram and all your settings and here you can do a change to uh, the labels of the axis and save the figure as a file, fig file or something else as you need. This was a so short introduction to the analyze. Hope you enjoyed. 